I'm Julie Sandrock, and today we're going to go through some more tips on how to use the Kibana dashboard. So first of all, I've opened my browser and I'm putting in the address, which you will find in the comments in the video below. So that is data.maxiq.space. And I've already saved my username and password. If you haven't accessed this dashboard before, you'll also find that in the comments below. We can see here that it says no results found, and that is because we've automatically come onto the weather station dashboard, which is used in a number of STEM programs. What we are looking for is the SDG index, which is the acronym for the Sustainable Development Goals, and our STEM kit relates to the SDG kit. So you can see here, I've opened the drop down, and I'm going to select the SDG index. Now we can see that there are a number of different kits that are connected and posting data over the last 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is now I need to find my kit. And I know that that begins with something that has got my name in it, which is Judy. And absolutely there I can find my kit. It's called Judy Blue Shift. This particular kit that I have running right now. And if I open up this data tab here, we can actually see all of the data that is being posted to the dashboard from my kit. So my group name is Blue Shift Scarborough for this particular kit. And you can see here with the weather sensor, um, on our OLED screen, we always, uh, we can see humidity, relative humidity and temperature, whereas the Kibana dashboard calculates for us cloud-based, cloud temperature, dew point, heat index, and also heat index warning. So we can see here that um, in terms of my windowsill where my kit is standing right now, the temperature is over 26 degrees centigrade and humidity is, relative humidity is over 50%. And it's actually giving a caution to say the heat index is starting, I need to be cautious. So if I was actually sitting on that windowsill myself, um, I would start feeling uncomfortable and maybe what I would need to do is move away from there. Now what I'd like to do is show you a few more tips in terms of the dashboards. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the dashboard tab. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to search for an SDG uh, template as we did before. And uh, we can see here that this is a very generic template. And when we go to it, it says add your kit's name here. So that is what I'm going to do, is that I'm going to add my kit name here. I know it starts with Judy, so I go search. And what is absolutely crucial is at this point, I need to save it as my own dashboard. I cannot save it as the template because then I'm really, I'm messing it up for everybody else. So I'm going to say save, and I'm going to say SDG Judy um, dashboard, and I'm going to actually put here March, 2022, very important, save as a new dashboard. Okay, what I could do is I could save the time with this dashboard, and that would be if I was looking at a particular set of data over, let's say, maybe a 24-hour or 48-hour period, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to save it um, as it is right now. So now we can see that the dashboard is displaying the data for my kit, um, as well as the table. Now, maybe what I want to do is actually change some of these. So I can see here that, for example, this SDG temperature data and calculated values, there's a lot of blank space over here. And I certainly know that, you know, uh, it, never, it never gets colder than seven degrees centigrade where I am. So maybe what I'd like to do is actually change this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to this little pencil mark, which will allow me to edit it. So if I go there, I can see now this visualization doesn't have anybody's kit name in it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say, put my kit name in here and just search there. Okay, so that has changed the data slightly because it's not an average of every single kit that is connected. It's now only pointing to my kit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to save this as my own. So I'm going to call this uh, Judy uh, temperature data. Temperature data, and I'm going to call this March 
2022. Um, save as a new visualization. Very, very, very important. Save as a new visualization. So there I have it there. And what I want to do is that I want to get rid of all of this blank space here at the bottom. So I can go to options and I can say scale Y axis to data bounds and then push play. And now we can see that is exactly what it's doing. Is it's um, is it's uh, it's changed it so that it's scaling as the temperatures go up and down. It's going to scale it to the data bounds. I need to save that again. Um, I don't need to save it as a new visualization. I'm going to save it over because I've already got a new name. Great. So now what we do is now we go back to that dashboard. And what I want to do is that I actually want to delete this visualization. So I click on that little X over there. And now I go up on the into the gray bar, top right hand side, I go to add. And now I'm going to search visualizations and I'm going to it was something to do with. Here we go, GD temperature data, March 2022. I click on that. Um, I close that bar by clicking on add again. And what it has done is it's added it now to the bottom over here. And so this is my new visualization. And what I can do is I'm just simply going to drag it up so that it's in the position where it was before, right on the top left-hand side. And so there we go. Now we can see that it is automatically scaling to those data bounds. So the lowest temperature is, um, is now the the minimum Y value and the highest temperature is the maximum Y value. And so what I need to do now is I need to save that again. So I save it. It's already got my name. So I can save over that. And this is how you make sure that the dashboard is representing your data and also how you can customize your dashboard by going to each of the visualizations, clicking on the little pencil so that you can edit. And please remember, if you're going to change the visualization, save it as your own visualization and then add it back to your dashboard. In another video, what we're going to cover is how to create visualizations from scratch for yourselves. Thank you. And um, until next time, cheers.